Hi guys and welcome to How Much Bitcoin. Today we're gonna do a video with Ben. What's up? We're gonna do a video about building a rig from scratch. I never done this before. We're gonna build a rig of four 1060 uh, GTX from Nvidia. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna build it on open-ended case. Uh, it's gonna. We're gonna build it. Basically, it's a computer and a bunch of video cards on it. Uh, we have to assemble the case itself and then put all the video cards, use a power supply. I will list all the different stuff that we use like right there and the pricing and what's the total. And in the next video, we'll show you how to run it on the software and try to like hash it in different different type of currencies and see how much you can get paid for it. Yeah, let's, let's go do it. Yalla. Okay guys, so this is what we got. This is the rig itself. We have a 1600 watt titanium EVGA power supply. We have four 1060 six gigabyte video cards. We have a motherboard that supports up to eight video cards. We have four extensions for the PCI. And then we also have two sticks, four gigabyte of RAM each, and all the cables and accessories. We're gonna go ahead and assemble the case itself, the frame. So as you can see, there's numbers here, five and six, and there's numbers right here. And Ben here is gonna help me. Um, five and six, here. yeah, one and two. One and two, and I have, have one, one and two, two in the other side. Yeah, so, so we'll just, the way we do it, it's gonna be like this. Okay, we're just matching it pretty much. Yeah, there you go. I'm not gonna tighten it, yeah, I'm just gonna put it like this. Yeah, that's good. The instructions are impossible to read. Yeah, the instructions are really bad, but... See if you guys can see that. <laughs> So I'm thinking it's like this. Oh, here you go, like that. It sits like that. Yeah, but is it the other way upside down or is it this way? It's this way because it's CPU is gonna. Oh wait, no, there's the, no. The there's nothing on the bottom. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. good. And then where's the? Okay. Is it sitting? Yeah. It's okay. Sitting. Now where's the other piece? It's right here. Okay. That's for you. Oh, for me. Okay, so three and four, I'm matching it. Okay. Three, four, and seven and eight. Where's all the screws? Right. Two right here. Okay. And then last screw. Yeah. Wow, that's it. That was not too bad. That was simple. Yeah, I'm just gonna use this Allen key included to close all the screws. They all screw in tight? Yeah. So all here right. it is. That's all ready to go. That's the frame. But now we have to install all the power supply and motherboard and all that okay so let's start with the power supply so we're gonna grab our 1600 watt you done poopsie somewhere from somewhere <laughs> those are by the way way over overpowered you don't need that much power because you are only running four video cards but I'm running I'm planning to run six so just in case probably a thousand will work even you know yep for four how much is each card 60 watts um you know what people say they can get 65 if you're efficient but i think i'm gonna try to pull a little more and see if i can overclock them so probably 150 or 100 for the total for each where this <laughs> i don't think there's room for this fucker, dude <laughs> <laughs> let's see it's, i think it's supposed to go like this dude actually there's half they have holes here bro and bro it goes like this okay Oh wow. Does it? Yeah, this is designed for dual power supplies. So okay. let's let's put the motherboard though, just in case. Just yes, to be sure. That's a good plan. Oh I see what this is for. So it goes like this. Okay. Oh okay. That makes more sense actually. Yeah, so I'm gonna put it on the front so people can see. This is where the motherboard goes. Uh you have your screwdriver? Oh uh, yeah. Here you go. Professional. <laughs> Screwdriver. This is a magnetized one? I hope. No? Nope. Well, I gotta stick my fat fingers somehow through here. So I'll start with this one. So basically we're gonna put screws to hold down the motherboard and it's gonna go. This so motherboard has like an extra like extra holes for like different screws, but you only need to screw in the ones where the those uh, brass pieces were. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can do nine video cards with this. What? Yeah. Amazing. 
How much did this motherboard cost? I think this motherboard was 180. I will show all the prices at the end and how much this whole thing Cheap. cost. Not bad. Yeah, it's a very decent. I'm at the same time now screwing in the power supply right now on the side right here. Oh, so that's how. Multitasking. Yeah, it's, uh, it screws in really nicely. It's an MSI Z170A Gaming M5 motherboard. Great quality. What kind of CPU you putting in this? i3. i3? Standard, sixth generation. The reason I'm using an i3 that is decent is because I'm going to try to also mine uh, other coins with it. And you can mine with the uh, CPU as well. Okay, we all set. And I actually managed to put the screws for the power supply. It's all solid in here, as you can see. Okay, CPU, CPU let's, uh, yeah. let's. Yeah, I was just looking at this thing. Throw the CPU in there. Here's the CPU box. I'm going to unbox it. Here's the i3 right here. Okay. Which generation? This is a uh, sixth generation, 6320 i3. How many gigahertz? Uh, 3.9. Gigahertz? Gigahertz. Damn. Okay. Oh wow, that's it. Okay. Uh, how about this guy? Okay. Before you do that, uh, where's the gel? The gel, it's already there. Oh, it's already on there? There's already a thermal, how do you call it? Thermal paste. Thermal paste already there. That's nice of them, of Intel to do that for you. And I think this is a snap-on. We're just snapping it on. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, here you go. Try it. It just clicks in. And I think now you twist it. Yep, you twist it. To lock it. Okay. Dope. Dope. Now we need two RAM cards. Okay, Wait, hang on. You have uh, the power cord for the fan. Oh, okay. We need to put it on wrapped the around the fan, so we gotta plug it in. Oh yeah. Where does it go? I got it. CPU fan one. CPU fan two. So I'm guessing on CPU fan one. Where is it? Right there. So Ben is plugging in the CPU fan on right now. If I can figure it out. Yep. There we go. Okay. So I got the correct RAM. And now I'm gonna go ahead and install it. This is DDR4. It's different from DDR3, I learned this. Okay, so now the RAM is installed. Oh, you also have a power button. Yeah, there's reset a power button, button. Reset button. It's mm -hmm. basically, in case you don't need a case for it, you don't need a jumper. So you can use that to turn it on and restart. And then also there is a temperature um, inside the temperature sensor, so you can see the temperature and stuff. Okay. So now we're gonna install the SSD. The SSD. So the SSD seems like there's holes here, and I'm thinking that's what they're for because it's matching. So I'm gonna have to flip it. So you gotta install it like sideways like that. I think you can actually do it like the screws here, so you could do it like. Are you sure this. you want to do it on SSD though? Yeah, I don't mind. Just in case, I don't know. So it's like fast. It's scary though. Oh, shit. Why is it scary? Because if the, it dies, it dies and all the, everything is gone. Oh, like it will... Nah, unlikely. That, I think it's unlikely that everything will burn. Oh, you see those two holes right here? And mm -hmm. this is the SSD that goes behind. Boom. What's oh, heavy now? I'm gonna read the manual and see where those go. Those are motherboard connection for the oh, controller. Yeah, let's see if there is the same thing here. So this is a reset button. I'm gonna look through the manual real quick and find it. Now, um, let's unbox one of the video cards just to see how it looks like. And how to mount it. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on the side for now. It's heavy. Yeah. Yep. Does that have a sticker or something? Just pick a side, you know? Yeah. E1 Gaming. It's a nice box. Look at that. There's manual. I don't care. Who does? <laughs> Put in hold. Uh, Guaranteed. Gigabyte qualified. What? Gigabyte qualified. Okay. 
Here it is. Three fans. So we have four of them. But let's mount one. And how much did you get this for again? I bought those cards for $280 each. With tax, huh? Yeah, with tax. That's crazy. Yeah. Three fan GPU. I got lucky. Um, price go up and down depending on how many people mine or what, or if people also game. I guess people game with those too, no? Yeah. That's what the, <laughs> literally says gaming on it. I even forgot about that thing, <laughs> gaming. Okay, should okay I first, hit? let's see the length of this first. Oh, yeah. First off. I think that's as far as we, we're going to need it. Okay. So I'm going to. I need uh, something for this one. It's a hex screw, right? A hex screw, yeah, a big one. I don't think it came with a big one, so I'm gonna have to use my own. But I'm gonna start screwing up this top half right yeah, here. Go for it. it. Takes a little bit of force, but once it's in, it's in. Oh, that's what those are for. Yeah, here you go. You can show people what it is okay. and what you're gonna use. So at the bottom is the PCIe Express port, or not port, the, the connection. This is the, the port, but it, the, the connection is too high from the motherboard. So we're going to take this piece here and we're going to connect it to the bottom of it. And Open that way it'll be like an extension. Yeah, you got to slide it. There we go. Okay, it's Perfect. in. Oh yeah, it's all the There you go. Okay, now lock it. Like that white piece? Yeah, you got to lock it. Great. Now... We're gonna take this piece right here. Or does it even go to the motherboard? No. Uh, <laughs> does it go here? Yeah, but let's start from left to right. Yeah. From your left or my right? Left. Uh, closer, so this one from here. Okay, does it go? Yeah, it goes this way, I think. Nope. That's bad info again. Actually, one more, one more right. You can use the big one, it's the same, this one. The big yeah. one here? Yeah, 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 it works. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Just like that. Alright. So we're gonna do the same thing times four. Okay, here's the second one. There's a little plastic protection. I'm gonna take it out so I can put the adapter there. This is how you're gonna do it. Just put this piece into there. Yeah, that's, yeah there we go. that's how it is. And then this one goes here. There we go. Don't forget to open it. Yeah, this white piece, I don't know if I've shown it yet. It locks in the the port. So you gotta open it first and then lock it once it's in. So I'm gonna leave it open first. Push it in underneath. Always awkward. Probably should start it should have started from left to right. <laughs> yeah guys, start from left to right next time. Uh, just connect all the pieces. Again, take it out. Same thing, guys. Power. This is annoying. But you just use a little force. Okay. Not just force. Wind force. Here it is. Let's plug all the power cables that came with the EVGA. So I'll start with the motherboard power. Holy cow, this thing is heavy now. Plug in from the power supply right here to the motherboard right here. Okay, now let's plug up all the video cards. Are those all the SATA connectors or? Those are the power for the video cards. There's one each. One VGA each. There you go. They're all connected. Now we're gonna plug in the um, power for the PCI Express uh, extensions. Four of them. So this one is the power right here. And this is for the PCI Express uh, extension. So, two, three, 
Right here, this is for the panel, for the front panel power. We still need to give this one power and also plug in a SATA cable to the motherboard. So let's do that. Okay, that's power. It's gonna go around and in the power supply. Plugged in to the motherboard. Okay, so I see how it is. There's only the way it's gonna be, it's gonna be put. Oh. There's one here and there's one up here. I see, okay. See, it's actually designed to have three fans, so like this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay, that's perfect. So who gives a sh Just throw it everywhere. Okay, got it. Two more. I mean, you can make more holes. No yeah, this is plastic, so exactly, like Ben said, you can just make holes anywhere you want. But they do have come pre-drilled. Here you go. So far, I like this case. It's very easy to put together. Oh, it was like a suka, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we figured it out, so you don't have to. Look, I want to show you a trick. So what you can do is, instead of plugging each one, you can go like that. You really can, you can do that. Yeah, and that's, then keep going, you know? That's cool. Saves a lot of time. <laughs> okay, here it is. This is the most complicated build I've ever seen. What the f is this shit, dude? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys what we did so far. Um, Looks like Spider-Man was in here. There's a lot of cables. I mean, uh, we have four video cards. You can put two more. Here's the power supply. Plugs in from the right. And then here's the front panel. Here's the motherboard connections. You can put the metal panel if you want. We did not put that. And here's the front fans, and there is back fans as well. And fat fingers. And then Ben is connecting the final power cables, and then we'll do some final uh, wiring and power up and see how this thing turns on. Okay, we plug in the cable. All the power, all the power in the building goes out. <laughs> There you go, all ready? Okay. And go for it. Holy It's on. Oh, I feel air a lot. Is it coming out this way? It's pretty strong. Oh, wow. No, we put it in the wrong way. They're shooting out. Okay, so we have to change it. So what we're trying to do is to create a, a airflow. Basically, so the air goes, the flows from here all the way down here comes out of there. So then, the airflow basically go all over the video cards and makes them nice and cool and that's also the correct way for the video card to go so what I'm gonna do is I'm basically gonna flip those fans so the air flows this way and I'm gonna keep those fans like this so the air flow this way so we can have an airflow from back to front like that let's go ahead and start flipping the fans it's only two screws for each fan two more Okay guys, we're now gonna start the machine. I actually disconnected the video cards out so then I can access just the motherboard. What I'm gonna do first is install Windows and then I'm gonna set up a remote access so I can put this away uh, where I wanted to mine away you know, from my desk. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Awesome, as you can see here I also put the metal plate back. So here is my Windows USB. I'm gonna go ahead and restart the device with the Windows. So that's it guys, that's how you build it. Now we need to do another video of how to set it up, part two, how to choose between nice hash and uh, mining Ethereum. Don't forget guys to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification button so then you can, every time I make a video, you can see it and uh, watch it right away. Hi. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye-bye.